Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. In today's video, we're gonna show you guys three tips for optimizing gaming performance inside of Windows 11. Before we get started with this video, we wanted to let you guys know that we're currently running a giveaway through the end of the month for Microsoft software. Once the giveaway is over, one lucky subscriber will be randomly selected to win any Microsoft software of their choice from Indigo Software. To enter this giveaway, follow the steps in this video. As always, if you're interested in purchasing Microsoft Office, Windows 10, Windows 11, remote desktop licenses, or a wide variety of other Microsoft software at a great price, be sure to check out Indigo Software. We'll leave links down below. So without further ado, let's jump in. guys so windows 11 fortunately comes with a variety of tools that will help us optimize our performance for gaming let's start by going directly to our settings by hitting windows key and i together on our keyboard from here we actually see a tab called gaming let's click that and we'll click into game mode from here we can turn game mode on and this is going to automatically turn things off in the background so this is the first step to help ensure optimal gaming performance the next thing we're going to cover is also inside of settings and once we're inside a system, we're going to click down to power. Here we have an option called power mode. There'll be a switch here where we can actually select the performance mode. Now, if you're like me and you actually don't see the high performance plan available or there's no option here, we can also check in the control panel. Hit Windows key and type in control and we'll hit enter. Here we're going to click into hardware and sound. Underneath here, we'll see an option called choose a power plan. We can see mine is set to high performance, which favors performance. So. If this is set to balanced, you'll be able to change it from your settings. And if you can't change it from your settings, that means it's probably already on here. So this is what we want. Let's move on to the third tip. All right, guys, the third and final tip is going to be to keep your graphics card up to date. Graphics cards usually roll out updates on a regular basis, and it's very important to ensure that you're on the latest update at all times. A lot of us in the gaming community are using NVIDIA's GeForce graphics cards, but whatever cards you have, you should have a software that will allow you to update those. In my case, this is going to be the GeForce experience. And so if I open this, let's take a look inside. All right, now from here, I can click to drivers and check for updates. Here we can see we have a new update and this was released just 11 days ago. So I'll click download. And inside of GeForce, I usually opt for the express installation. So I'll click that, we'll select yes. And this software will be doing the rest for us. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. If you have any questions about anything we covered, drop those in the comments below and we'll get back with you as soon as we can. Again, if you're interested in entering our giveaway, follow the steps in this video. If you're interested in purchasing Microsoft software at a great price, be sure to check out Indigo Software. We'll leave the links down below. As our channel grows, we're constantly looking for new video topic ideas to make. If you have any suggestions, we'd love to hear those as most requested topics get made into actual videos. Lastly, a like and subscribe would be greatly appreciated as it helps to support the channel. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you guys next time.